What is going on, girls, guys, and all other forms of life? My name is whatever you want to call me. And, uh, welcome to another video on my channel. I'm a little high right now, so whatever, but I wanted to get this video underway because I had a lot of shit I wanted to discuss in this video. <clears throat> it is me, hi, Ash Lava Cat, also known as Chris. You can check my other social medias if you want. I think some of my social medias should be in the description of my channel from now on, but that is not important. Also, I am the Internet Demon on Steam, so if you wish to join the group, I am also an admin in... It is called the LGBT Gaming Community. Currently, we have... a fuck ton of members, all the way down into the thousands. Like, we have like 50,000 members, I think. Yeah, right here, here's the members list. 50,000 members, 13 online, 3,000 in game. We have a decent community, come say hi. But that is not what this video is about in the slightest. Today's video, let me just backspace through all of that shit. This video is about the game I just bought, which is Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which to my knowledge was created by the same people as Friday the 13th, the game. And you wanna know why I say that? You see this little two dots on top of each other and then the game? Let's take a look at this game's motherfucking developer's store page. So their developer is Phonic and Gun Media. And it says the game with the two dots. Now let's take a look at this. You see how it's got two dots and the game. Let's take a look at the store page and let's see if anything's the same. Oh, look at that! Phonic! We saw Phonic somewhere, didn't we? Where the hell did we see Phonic? Tell me where we saw Phonic. Oh, on Friday the 13th's page, Phonic. <clears throat> Phonic here. And... Phonic here, except it's Phonic Publishing this time, so it's Phonic's game and not Gun Media's game. So, the developers who made this game made it for someone else. But this time, because Phonic is the developer and the publisher, this is Phonic's game. So both of the games are linked by developers. But instead of Friday the 13th being made because of a license, this time they own the license, I'm guessing? Either that or it'll follow the fucking Friday the 13th bullshit and it will get taken off of Steam. Or, you know, not taken off of Steam because it should have been removed because right now I'm pretty sure it's owned by a hacker and all revival attempts have been shot down due to legal complications and shit on Phonics end, or I guess on Gun Media's end because they're the publisher. But that doesn't matter. So we're going to check out Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I apologize for being gone for like a month or two, and uh, I'm back to posting regular content. And today's video is going to be about Killer Clowns from Outer Space, created and owned by the people who made Friday the 13th for someone else because of a license they didn't own. But I'm guessing they own the license this time. So let me figure- this is my first video back in a while, so I gotta remember how to do this. Okay, so press this button to pause. That would be... Now, something that I want to mention, because I just realized it, is Killer Clowns from Outer Space runs on Easy Annie Cheat. You know what else runs on Easy Annie Cheat? Dead by Daylight, which is getting its newest survivor recently, and we kind of are a Dead by Daylight channel, but, like, at the same time, if we're correct, Killer Clowns from Outer Space is basically going to be another version of Dead by Daylight created by the same people who made fucking, you know, Friday the 13th. And there was always the rumor back in the day, oh my god, this game's gonna kill the other game. Alright, so this game is loud. I have, I would like to get into the settings menu and turn this game down, because it's, it's, it's fucking roaring in my ears. Okay, so do I have to click on shit? Is the game even responding? Hello? There we go. Alright, can you guys see this? 
<coughs> Alright, we can see this. Okay, let's go into the fucking settings, okay? Remember, this is a week early, and it also is the beta. Oh, we may have a friend who wants to play. They probably have played before, because they're asking if I want to play. So now, hang on, I gotta turn this down. I gotta turn this down. Okay, so I don't remember who this is, but they're on my friends list somewhere. Can we open the settings menu? No, it's the fucking... We'll be good at 15. Dialogue volume can go down to, like, 60. We'll put it at 90. Sound effect volume can go down to, like, fucking 80. Master volume can go to 95. Cool, we're good. Hang on, let's take a look at the controls. Okay, you want me to add you on Discord so you can join my first... I'm playing, I get it. Give me half of a goddamn minute to add your fucking profile, because fuck you. Sorry, I also get, like, really edgy when I smoke weed. I'm kind of freaking the fuck out, but that's okay. It's medical weed, so it's good. This is the Discord server, the coffee shop. I believe it is in my channel motherfucking description. So if you want to join the Discord server, feel free with the link above or below. Alright. Alright, we copied it, probably. What is this? Add friend. I don't remember who this guy is, but I'm pretty sure he's on my friends list if he's texting me. <clears throat> Alright, we are friends, even. Alright, so with that shit taken care of... I see a, a message I sent you from 2021, so apparently, I don't know. So apparently we were friends, like, a long-ass time ago, or something. I just completely forget where. Well, if we were friends once, we could be friends again. Okay, it might have been. Uh, you ever play uh, Elder Scrolls Online? Probably not. Okay, then I completely forget. Me too. Alright, you want to play Scary Clown Game? That's kind of like Dead by Daylight. Uh, sure. I don't know how to play, so you're gonna have to, like, coach me. And I'm recording, so I'm gonna look back on this, and I'm gonna use it to learn how to play better. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, don't die. Is it? Okay, so how That's... do you win as Survivor? Uh, you have to escape. What's the objective? So, usually, or usually there will be, uh, four different escapes on the map. Okay. You have to gather various items to unlock the escapes. Oh, so it's kind of like Friday the 13th, so you have to fix stuff to escape. The tricky thing is each of the escapes has a maximum number of people that can use it. Oh, so after, like, a certain amount of people leave, they close, and you have to use a different exit? Yeah, like, um, for example, there's a bridge that you could open. Only one person can run out, which is kind of a big screw you to everyone else. So this is like Friday the 13th, kind of. Uh, yes, except for the three killers. Okay, so it's Friday the 13th with extra killers. Uh, yeah. Cool, let's Along do with it. you could kill them. Alright, so should I quick click quick play or private match? Uh, quick play. Do a lot of people play this? Oh, yeah, I've, I've seen so many streamers, uh, on. Like, almost every person I match with has, like, TTV in their name. It's, it's... like, actively streaming. 
Is this game live, or is this technically the beta for a week? So, this is the, um... Give me a second. I forget what it's called. It's, like, pre-full release. Okay, so this is early access. It's one step above early access. So, I forget exactly the, um... So it's not for public hands unless they buy the deluxe, a bit like, thing. Unless they pre-order it. So I pre-ordered it, and that's how I can Yeah, it's play. advanced access, that's what it is. Uh, yeah. Cool. Well, Basically, no. the game's already out. But it's not live yet. Yeah, it's a step above early access. It's this... I've never seen advanced access before, apparently that's what it's supposed to be called. So I, I missed the beta, or is that coming? Uh, you missed the beta. It's supposed to be coming out on the 4th, okay. but it's, like, already kind of officially out. Oh, and you want to know what's badass? It's the first day of Pride Month. Oh, okay. And my birthday is on June 6th. Dude, I'm, I am I got all the luck. It is June already? Yeah, dude, it's Pride Month, and my birthday is in five days. Hey, I don't know my months. That was that was a little too, a little too ahead of me in school. Kind of skipped over that bit. Oh, wow. I'm just trying to learn. Who needs to know months, am I right? Whatever. What Yo, this? clowns, let's go. No, I want to be a human. Ah, I'm vibing with clowns. I love clowns. No, I'm a survivor main. Too bad. No. Oh, can I switch killers or am I stuck as this guy? Uh, you have to customize it in the main menu. Oh, this is bold. Oh. Can I select perks or anything? Uh, you'd have to, you'd have to customize all that in the main menu. <laughs> Are you serious? I have to go to the main menu to set up my fucking perk build? Yeah. But we got lucky. We got like a high level player with us. I've never- Getting Garrett. Ooh. I don't- Do I have any perks on to start with or no? Oh yeah, yeah. You, you start out with a pretty good default kit. Oh, thank the lord. <laughs> so this is kind of like Dead by Daylight and Friday the 13th had a baby and it was about a different movie? Yeah, it's from one of the best movies, actually, Killer Clones from Outer Space. Never saw it, but I did see Friday the 13th, and I did hear Dead by Daylight is probably... You've never seen movie. Killer Clones from Outer Space. No, but I I have a feeling it's cool. It's it's, it's pretty odd, that's is it the best way to describe it. It's, it's comedic, oh, or God. is the best way to put it. It's just straight comedic or... What button is it to talk to Garrett? Do you know? Oh, uh, hold T. Hi, Garrett. I'm recording. Is that cool with you? <laughs> 